have you seen this plugin already? It is called Tuxpect. You can import an image and then it will do some fancy Fourier transform stuff on your sound based on that image. And it has a step sequencer, as you can see with randomized steps. And I want to try something special. I have a folder with Marthy images and I just want to throw it at the plugin and see what happens. Because that's what I always do when plugins have something with images. Yeah, I really like the subtle effect that this gives. You can also see it visualized down here in the spectrum. It's like a million little notches that move around in a cool way. Let's try this image. Okay, I still have to find out what this is good for. Apparently the first one makes it slower, n times slower than whatever this thing was set to. But what does power do? Something about the magnitude of the frequency response, I think. Could almost be used like some sort of dry wet control, but it doesn't go down to zero completely. Okay, let's go on to the next image. It kind of lacks a full thing control, like we have one half, but I want to have just one. You can also use quarter notes or any other things, but when you're into the free mode, you have to kind of nail this drag and that's just impossible. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a shepherd tone, but it goes into multiple directions at the same time, so it's kind of not a shepherd tone. Really, really cool. Let's try this three-dimensional thing. Okay, so turning up the duration bar is definitely very useful in order to get a feeling for the kind of shapes that emerge from the image in the FFT. Turning up power just makes that even more pronounced. And also on top of that, you can turn this into black and white mode to make it only react to the outstanding luminance parts. Okay, let's try this shape.
Now this is also an interesting setting because we still hear the dry signal, but we just also hear how it carves out these resonances from it. This one has some not too linear shapes. Okay, now let's try the step sequencer. Oh, I don't understand why it crackles a little bit now. Didn't do that before. Okay, apparently with a DK you have to make sure that you don't go into the next attack state or it will not crossfade between the grains or whatever, um, something like that. Sick. Nice. Okay, let's try this one. This is pretty cool because it's like changing the width of these pseudo bandpass filters. Yeah, really cool sound, really interesting. What does the moon sound like? Nice. This plugin is awesome.